Good evening. My name is Steve Conley. I'm the superintendent of schools for MSAD 60. Thank you for joining us for this, uh, the June 23rd, 2021 school budget hearing. It's going to be a very different process from any other process that we've done over the last several, I don't know, maybe ever, but uh, uh, we're going to give this a try. So um, I would like to say thank you to Terry, Terry Wright at BCTV for hosting the meeting and setting this up so this could live stream. And um, I would also like to remind people that on July 14th, there will be the public vote. And um, just for reminders, what I have so far in our MSAD 60 annual report that went out this past week. In Berwick, at Berwick Town Hall is listed as open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. You might want to check to see at, at your um, municipal websites to ensure how the voting is occurring at those places. Lebanon Elementary is open from 6 a.m. to 6 uh, to 8 p.m. And North Berwick Elementary School is open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. And then I would like to turn the turn the microphone over. I'm going to mute myself in just a second. I'd like to turn it over to Astrida Schaefer so that she may do just a, a roll call for us. Astrida. Hi. Um, welcome. And I would like to do the roll call. Um, I know that um, some people are still trying to get in. Denise Mallet has been having some trouble, but hopefully she'll be able to join us soon. Um, I'm here now. Oh, you are good. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. Um, Rebecca Beal. Do we have Rebecca Beal? Don't see her. Okay. Linda Corliss. Travis Dwyron. Yeah, I'm here. Any idea why everybody's black? Why everybody's screen is black? Uh, there's a. You have to access the. It asked you when you first went to get in if it could use your video. Yeah, which I, I can see myself and I can see Denise Van Campen, but that's the only video that I can see. Hmm. I have everybody a lot of else, people blacked out. Has black screens. Hmm. I don't Travis, know. Travis, you were all black until you spoke and then you came on. Huh. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, Re um, Rebecca Hopper. No. Um, Denise, I can see you. Yes, uh, Denise Mallet, yeah. Lynn Manley, here. Uh, Nancy Newberg, here. Uh, Joanne Potter. Hi, Joanne, and me, Estrita Schaefer. Thank you. And oh. I had heard from uh, Linda Corliss that she was going to be unable to make this evening's meeting. Okay. So uh, because this is a school budget hearing based on the requirements that we need to follow from the state of emergency order through Governor Mills at the, at the State Department, um, there are some differences between this and any of the previous meetings that we've conducted at the Hussey Auditorium. And I will share what some of those differences are. First of all, um, there is no election of a moderator. The uh, clerks are not taking ballots. There is no count of any voting. There is no voting that occurs at a hearing. Uh, the superintendent conducts the hearing. This is primarily the, the purpose of this hearing is for a question and answer period. It's not a budget meeting or a budget workshop as those have already occurred and been um, put on uh, into our minutes on the website or have been posted on BCTV and aired that way. Um, I will be presenting the items that will be on the ballot. And after I present an item in brevity, um, Joanne, yes, I did say that. Um, then, <laughs> then I will take uh, questions on any of the pieces of that particular item. So one of the resources you may elect to look at either online at the MSAD 60 website. I'm not real sure how it goes when you toggle back and forth um, 
between tabs. So the other thing you might do is if you go to the annual report, there's a page that says the elementary school. And then the next page, which I have some highlights on mine, starts about in the middle of the booklet. At the bottom, it says public hearing guide, page one of four. So I'll take just a moment to give people the chance to locate that in their annual report. The top says school budget public hearing guide. Okay, so um, in the Hearing guide, part one says articles of the proposed school budget for FY 2021. And it, it, this is the recommended budget by the school board and it consists of articles one through 14. These articles constitute the school operating budget for the fiscal year 2021. In the expenditures category, you'll see Article 1, Regular Instruction, 2, Special Education, 3, Career and Technical, 4, Other Instruction, 5, Student and Staff Support, 6, System Admin, 7, School Admin, 8, Transportation and Buses, 9, Facilities Maintenance, 10, Debt Service and Other Commitments, 11, All Other Expenditures, I would like to see if there are questions on articles one through 11 at this time. If your microphone is on silence and you would like to activate it, please go to the lower left of your screen and you'll see where you can Click on the microphone and the red bar will go away and you'll be on, uh, you'll be able to speak. And Rebecca Hopper has joined the meeting. Hi, Rebecca. This is Linda Marks. I do have one question. Yes, Linda. Um, article one under regular education. Yes. Um, if you go down to purchased online subscriptions, um, obviously, huge jump yes. there. I'm hoping that that has something to do with distance learning, just in case. So there are two things. One is that all of the subscriptions that used to be electronic subscriptions and other kinds of subscriptions that used to be under different principal cost centers have been relocated, consolidated to this area. So. The $77,000 to the 154 represents all of these uh, purchased online subscriptions being moved under the um, auspices of, of Chris Russo actually in regular instruction. Thank you. I think that meets your hope is that we have good online services coming up. At this time, hearing no further questions, I'll move to Article 12. Article 12 is known as the Essential Programs and Services Funding Act. And what that means is what does the state statute, 20, Title 20A, Section 15688, require uh, for each student in the state of Maine as a threshold, a baseline for minimum money that must be expended per municipality uh, or RSU. And in this, what you will see is that the EPS, Essential Programs and Services Funding, requires that uh, the MSAD 60, if you look at all the, require, all the required components, it comes to a total of $35,319 700, excuse me, 319, 
$1,711, pardon me. And from that, the total that needs to be raised in Berwick, Lebanon, and North Berwick for EPS is $14,978,807. I'd like to see if there is a question on EPS. Seeing no questions, I'll move to Article 13. The school board recommends that the district raise and appropriate $5,740,421 in additional local funds, which is, exceeds the state EPS service by that $5,740,421. Monies that are used beyond EPS are for district decisions, um, such as full-time nurse statuses in each school, guidance counselors in each school, as well as determination of class sizes. It's noted that fundamentally, however, the primary reason is that the EPS formula does not fully recognize all the costs necessary to maintain school programs and services. This might be where people talk about unfunded mandates would be a good example. I'm going to wait to see if there are any questions about the appropriation beyond the essential programs and services. Hearing none, I'll move to Article 14. Article 14 is the summary of the 2021 budget, and it notes that the board recommends the district authorize the school board to expend $42,724,732 beginning July 1st and running through June 30th and that's to fund public education from kindergarten through grade 12, as described in the EPS Funding Act, uh, non-state funded school construction projects, which are not actually covered in our, in our uh, booklet. We'll talk about a separate piece. Additional local funds for school pur purposes under the main revised statute. I'll wait to see if people have any questions over the total sum of the school budget. So with that, without any questions at this point, that closes out part one. I'm going to move to the referendum questions on the budget related and related fiscal matters and proposed bond. Question one, school budget. Shall Maine School Administrative District number 60 appropriate the sum of $42,724,732 and raise the sum of $20,719,228 for the 2021 school budget? The board is recommending a yes vote. That means that out of the 42724 that uh, would be appropriated locally, the municipalities would be responsible for 20.7 million approximately, which means that the local percentage is around 48% of the whole budget and the state percentage is around uh, 52%. Uh, that question one will also contain all 11 pieces that we shared in the first document in this meeting this evening. Is there a question over, does anyone have a question about question one, school budget?
Not hearing any questions. The next piece that I'll move to is question two. District nutrition program. Shall the district be authorized to raise and appropriate $126,000 for the school nutrition program with authorization to expend any additional incidental or miscellaneous receipts in the interest and for the well-being of the school nutrition program? The school board recommends a yes vote. The school nutrition program, uh, those are, have became a separate vote. Is this the first year, Denise, or the second year? That, that that's been pulled out and voted on separately, second year. So this is the second year that school nutrition has been separated out of all school budgets in the state. And it um, is required that the school nutrition have a zero balance at the end of the year in order for MSAD 60 annually to be at a zero balance, we approximate the appropriation of $126,000 would be needed. Are there any questions regarding the district nutrition program? Hearing no questions, I'm going to move to question three. District Adult Education Program. Shall the district be authorized to appropriate $437,410 for adult education and raise $283,680 as the local share with author authorization to expend any additional incidental or miscellaneous receipts in the interest and for the well being of the adult education program? So the total program cost is approximately $2,400 less than the 1920 budget. And the amount to be raised by the local municipalities is approximately $14,000 more than the 2019-2020 amount of $269,000. $178. Are there questions on the district adult education program? Question three. Hearing no questions on number three. I'll move to the final piece that will be on the vote on the ballot. This is question four, minor capital bond. Do you favor authorizing MSAD 60 to issue bonds and other evidences of indebtedness in the name of the district in an amount not to exceed $1,803,265 through the state of Maine's zero interest rate loan forgiveness program known as the School Revolving Renovation Fund Program for priority one health safety and compliance renovations to district schools, including sprinkler systems at Hanson Elementary, Hussey Elementary and North Berwick Elementary Schools and asbestos remediation at Noble Middle School. And this will be known as the project. The zero interest loan uh, and loan forgiveness component is that the out of the total 1.8 million approximate funds, the loan principal forgiveness of, of about 59.31% will be forgiven. And that is equivalent to $1,069,516. So the state will cover that cost. And the interest-free loan, the district would be responsible for 40.69% of the total cost of the 1.8 million. So that is up to $733,749 of the district's total approved loan amount. Repayment to occur over 10 years. So approximately $733,000, excuse me, $73,000 a year over 10 years and that payment begins 
within one year after the completion of all of the projects. You have an 18 month window. We believe that the COVID situation will cause some of our projects to run into a second summer. So we're estimating somewhere in the 24 month range. So within a year after that, the loan uh, interest rate, excuse me, the loan repayment will begin at that point. School board recommends a yes vote. Are there questions about the minor capital bond known as the project? Hearing no questions, that will complete the school budget hearing, quite a different fashion from anything else we've experienced. I hope you all have a, a good evening and are trying to stay out of, out of the humidity. Thank you for joining us this evening.